Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 29, oh, second to last day of the June Nico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Let me make sure that I'm recording the screen. Okay, wait, is it recording? Okay, I think so. Uh, yeah, so I, I, uh, I, uh, I actually have a p bit of a painful wrist today because um, I was playing softball and I did a slide and I think I hurt it a little bit. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, may affect my typing, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, today's problem is 406. Q reconstruction by height. You're giving it away of people, people, which are the attributes of so people on a Q, not necessarily in order. So you have people sub I is equal to height and K, where I person is height H, and exactly K other people in front. Okay. We construct the queue that is represented by the input away. Okay. Um, this seems like a sorting problem. How do I phrase it in a way that we can get the answer, right? I think there's a... Um, okay. So I think we want to sort by K sub I, maybe at the very least, because that means that, for example, seven with zero people. Uh, uh, right, let's, let's actually move this here. What is going on? Why are the two browsers? Is anyone seeing this on screen? Yeah, that's kind of weird, right? Hello, testing. That's really funky. Okay. Uh, I think the code, <laughs> I think he's just having issues. But anyway, um, okay. Um, okay. So th my first idea is sort by the K, which is the number of people in front of them because um, my intuition here, and I guess this is what I would call I mean, it may the answer may be sorting, it may be um, it may be greedy, maybe both because sometimes sorting and greedy are the same, uh, or like the idea. But the way that I would uh, classify this problem is calling it um, what was I was gonna say? Oh, the way that I would classify this problem is a construction algorithm, right? A constructive algorithm. Uh, what I mean by that is I construct a strategy to figure it out, right, and then just have the code simulate and follow that plan and you know if, and part of that is going to be greedy but yeah but the idea is that okay so seven zero for example oh means that there's zero people in front of me that's taller so then i sort by that right so then i would have seven zero um and then maybe the next is five zero as well and of course by definition you only have two places to put it one is the beginning and one is the end. And of course you want it to be the front because the other one is just not working, right? So you have this and then now you have seven one. So then seven one is here, um, five two. Mm, five two would be here, right? Oh, am I missing some numbers? I may be missing some numbers. So six one, I don't know if I'm, I'm doing this right. I'm just playing around with this idea and see. Six one, um, yeah, six one would be here, right? No. There's one number ahead, so that would be here, right? Uh, and then I think five two. Five two would be here, and then the, is that right? Yeah. Uh, mm, and then four four would be one two three four four, right? Um, I think I have the idea now. Right, and maybe when you see the way that I did it, it makes sense. Mm. But I'm still trying to think which, so, I mean, the two dimensions, right? And I, I, I think I get the idea of sorting, but I'm just trying to figure out more more definitively whether I want to sort by the, the height first or not. Do we want to... Mm. I think actually, I, 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 my first inclination was to sort by K, to be honest. Like, I, I mean, you, I mentioned it, you might have seen it. Uh, but now that I think about it, I think sorting by height first makes sense because now, let's say we have, we're given height, right, from, from tall, tallest to the sh shortest. Then we know exactly where to put the number in. Um, because after that, you know that, for example, here, there's four people in front, and you know that. Everyone that before you put it in, this is the array and or the queue. Uh, queue is a little confusing, maybe, but but you know that everyone that's already in the array is taller than you, 
right? Um, yeah, and I think here, given the same height, we want to go from lowest k to more k, just because it makes sense, right? For example, if, if we're here and we have 4, 4, and uh, 4, 3, if we put the 4, 3 first, then, you know, we would put it here, and then we put 4, 4. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, so then we're here. That makes way more sense than and putting it the other way, right? Where if we put 4, 4 first, we might put 4, 4 here, and then 4, 3 here, which then now invalidates the, the tiebreaker. So the tiebreaking should... So I think my strategy now is to sort by height first, from tallest to the shortest, and then sort by K second, because then now you can go from left to right in a way, right? Um, okay, so that's going to be okay. So then now I'm trying to think what is the way to do it, right? Um, the reason why I say that is... Um, because, well... Um, I guess technically, mm, is that true? No, I think, because mm, basically, okay, so the first thing is sorting, so we would sort, that's fine, that's actually, so what I'm thinking of is, can I do this, so this sorting, so it, it can be linear time, because if you have to sort, it's not going to be linear. I know, there's some linear sorting, but let's just say compare-based sorting, right? Um... Yeah, and then after that, I don't think, I mean, it's not going to be your choke points. Even if you have a linear construction, it'll be okay. I think you are able to, um, like, I think, the, uh, I don't have a status structure in my mind. I think, like, for example, if you ha have some sort of binary search tree type thing uh, or a balanced binary search tree thing where you insert, um, you know, the position or something. Um, then I think you you can do this in N log N in total, but... The naive way, which is, you know, just having a list and then keep on inserting in the middle wherever you need it, it's going to be N square for maybe obvious reasons, you know, because you're, you're at worst, you're shifting it to the right end times. Um, hmm. How do I want to write that? Can I do an N log N in an easy way? That's what I'm trying to do. I mean, I'm that's what I'm trying to think, right? All right, let, let's just say people saw it. Key is equal to lambda peep. Uh, we want to sort by um, the height first from increasing and then uh, P1. Okay, right? So then now we sort. And then now we have... Um, can I do that in a better way? I, I should find out. I don't know that... Uh, Because the thing is, I mean, I guess there are ways you can do with like, there, there are stuff you can do with like binary index tree or something funky where you keep track of, of the indexes and then, you know, you, um, and then it, like basically you, it's almost like, um, It's almost like a, a, a suffix, like almost like a prefix sum, but a reverse of it, like a suffix sum. And then you kind of accumulate all the, all, the, all the ones together and then calculate the indexes at the end. And what I mean by that is that, for example, maybe you would, um, and I, I'm not going to implement this because I think this is way too much work for me. But for example, let's say you have something like this, you would have some, you start with 7, 0, um, and then 7, 1. And then you have what was it six one so six one would be here and then now you 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 do a suffix thing of uh, everything here right so here you you accumulate the plus one say I mean I, and there's a lot of bookkeeping to make sure your indexes are correct but then now the next one is going to be what um, five zero so five zeros here 
Oops. And then now, of course, you, you do a plus one on all this stuff afterwards as well. Um, and actually, I think maybe the easiest way is just minus one to the, to the prefix um, should be equivalent. But you get the idea, right? Um, and then you kind of sum up all the indexes at the end or something like that. Um, especially given that you're... Um, yeah. Can I do it with subtraction? Would that be really funky? No, I mean, I, I maybe I don't think this is right because I think you can insert stuff in the middle and then like maybe you can insert stuff here and then uh, maybe even comes up in the next one, like 5-2, it'll be 5-2, maybe I'm making sh things up and I'm wrong, but then it'll be here and then here, but then the, the suffix would just be here um, and then that would be obviously just wrong, right? Maybe, hmm. I don't know. Maybe I need to play around with this idea a little bit. But in any case, okay. So all that being said, so I spend a lot of time here. As you might notice, I'm doing this live and you guys see my thought process and trying to, you know, some days try to push myself a little bit and today maybe would have been one of them. But yeah, but the idea is that now for, what is it, height and what's K again? Is there whatever K, I guess. In people, um, let's say we have an answer away. And here we go. Um, uh, answer dot. So we don't even need the height. Well, we need it because we won't need to append it. But we don't need the height in theory. What we need is, what's it? Is, is to, uh, let me look it up. Python away insert. I forget what it is. Is it just insert? Huh. But I don't need... Okay, fine. So then insert at K of height K, right? I guess technically this is a list. Of, I think the check doesn't count. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, this is going to be N squared, which is why I took a long time thinking about it. Though the idea is, um, you know, obviously, I could have written it, but I was trying to see if I could do N log N. Um, hmm. If you have an n log n solution, let me know. Maybe I don't need it, but but yeah, eight twenty. Uh, and this is actually very quick code, and I probably could have done this video much quicker. So eh, if you if you're watching, but hopefully, hmm, I think you can do something cool with, um, like I mean, there there are definitely ways you can hack it um, to kind of um, have this idea. I think like a like I was thinking about using a linked list, and uh, so that's that's another way to do it in n log n. Um, and uh, you, you know, my first intuition is linked list, but then you have to skip to the to the k element quicker. So then in that case, you just make it a skip list, right? So for uh, so I don't know if you can make it what I said with prefix sum, but if definitely you can do a probabilistic n log n with skip list. Um, this is all of n square here. Um, O of n log n sorting uh, with skip list. You can even probably do it with like, what is it, sorted list? Uh, like a sort of a sorted list, which is the same idea by kind of, um, you know, for example, if you need to insert at k, you just take, um, we could actually probably maybe up solve this a little bit. I was actually, this may not be that hard to write. So let me actually try to do this. It may be, I mean, it should be right, but we might run out bits. Though, you could also say that we can re, um, uh, re, uh, what you might call it, re key every like once in a while. Anyway, so the idea behind the sorted list thing um, is that you can say insert it with a value in the first place. And then when you need to insert it, the, when you insert the K value, um, you know, you take the, the, the the item on index um, index k minus one and then index k and then take the middle value um, and you know the average value and then insert it so that you insert it at that place. But of course, at some point you run out bits, um, so then you just have to rebalance it by just you know re-index everything from zero to n or something like that. And of course, there's the same idea with um, with uh, what should we call it? like rebalancing on every doubling and if you rebalance it on every doubling it should be linear uh, uh on constant um so then it's just gonna be like n log n or something like that um i if i make that up 
uh, you know, that's me. But that, like I said, these things are more complex to the N-square solution, but possible. Uh, you know, I mean, these are just things that, you know, uh, I like to observe. Uh, uh, when I'm a little bit refreshed and rested, I like to observe it. Uh, when I'm a little bit tired, I'm a little bit lazy on radio. My apologies. But yeah, just, you know, take, uh, let's say, SL sub K, uh, maybe K, SL sub K minus one, and SL sub K, and average the key, and then that's pretty much it and insert the key. So basically you force yourself to squeeze in there. But of course, like I said, you may run out bits because every time you do this, you uh, get one fewer. And of course the mentissa only goes up to like, what is it? Um, 128 is it? Or negative 127 maybe? Uh, no, negative 128. But either way, like you just run out bits because we have n is equal to 2000. Um, but you know, that's why you do a rebalance. But anyway, if, if none of that makes sense to you, it's okay. I hope that uh, your takeaway from this video, if you get nothing else, is of course the, the sorting and the why. You saw my logic. Um, yeah, the idea is sorting by height is so that, that means that when we get to the person, we know everyone in that queue is already in, in front of you. So now you, to get to exactly K, you do K, um, you know, you just put yourself in a K index. And then because everyone that goes behind you is either shorter, oh, sorry, everyone that gets inserted after you is either behind you um, or they're shorter than you. So every everyone before you is taller than you and everyone behind you doesn't matter. So that's why we sorted this way. And that's the proof kind of, I mean, obviously I'm saying it in words, but you know, that's basically almost like an exhaustive case type of proof. Um, Cool, 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 cool. Uh, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.